twists and turns and convolutions that you see here, we call this structure of the inner ear the labyrinth. And the bony labyrinth has three portions to it. There are the semicircular canals. We have also the vestibule and we have the cochlea. So cochlea, vestibule, semicircular canals. If I spin this around, what we see on this side again is the base of the cochlea. This is the cochlear branch of cranial nerve number eight. We have the vestibule. You can see these as the vestibular branch of cranial nerve number eight. We have the endolymphatic sac, the endolymphatic duct, and you can see inside of the semicircular canals, which sort of have this bony look to them, you can see the semicircular ducts that run through. If I bring this a little bit closer, it almost looks like they're embedded inside the semicircular ducts within the semicircular canals. If I show you a different view, you can see pretty clearly two different shapes that we have underneath here. The oval shape that you see right here is the oval window. The round shape that you see right here is the round window. Oval window, of course, is where the base of the stapes is going to sit on. Round window is a structure you see here. Again, this is involved in the process of hearing. In fact, if we take this off right here, what you can see, this one's probably a little bit easier, what we can see here is a cross-section of the cochlea, cross-section of the cochlea. And what this reveals to us are all the little ducts that run inside. In green, you'll see a tympanic duct. In blue, you'll see the cochlear duct. And this pinkish color represents the vestibular duct. This would be one set right here. Then you'll see another set. Again, green tympanic duct, blue cochlear duct, pink vestibular duct. There's another set and another set. And what you see here is the nerve supply, again, the cochlear branch of cranial nerve number eight, that's running to each of these regions.